Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. So in this video, we are going to discuss Geeks for Geeks problem of the day and today's problem is modify linked list 1 and it is a medium level problem. So if by the end of this video, you feel that this video was actually helpful for you or if you were able to derive any value from this video, then consider dropping a like and don't forget to share your thoughts in the comment section. Any general thing you would like to share or anything about this problem you would like to share, you can write it down in the comments. Because your engagement with this particular video really helps the YouTube algorithm to understand that this video is actually helpful for you and it will be able to reach more people like you who want to keep solving new problems. So let us just quickly discuss what this problem says. But I feel like instead of reading the problem statement, I can just show you what this uh, problem says with the help of an example. So basically, you have been given a linked list like this. Right? So let's say, that uh, we have have the elements 10, 4, 5, 3 and 6. Whenever there are odd number of elements, you can safely ignore this middle element. We don't have to do anything with it. So you can just ignore it. So like you, you have to form pairs like this, like 10 is paired with 6 and 4 is paired with 3. Now what you have to do is, uh, you have to replace this particular value with 6 minus 10. That is the second value minus this initial value. And you have to replace this particular value with the original value of this particular number. So it will become 10. Right. So at this place, at the first place, you will now have minus 4. 6 minus 10 is minus 4. And in this last place, you will have 10. Right. So again, at this particular position, you here there was uh, like 4 initially. You have to do 3 minus 4 and that will be equal to minus 1. Right. So minus 1 here and it is 3. So original, originally 4 was there. So you have to do it 4. The middle element gets unchanged, there is no change. So basically what you have to do is, whenever you form pairs like this, the first element and the last element, the second element and the second last element, you have to form pairs like this. Let's suppose the first element is A, right, and the second element is B. You have to replace A by B minus A and you have to replace B by A. So like uh, for, if for the understanding of the problem, these operations doesn't really matter. It's the important thing is how do you perform, like how do you manage to keep the track of these states that this is the first element and this is the last element like this is the most important part of this video now this is very like trivial you can just easily perform some operations now there are actually many ways to solve this problem when you talk about linked list actually there is no wrong way you what you can easily do is like one way is to store all of them in a vector on an array right so once you have an array like this of node pointers right you will have an array like this you can easily check what is the first and the last element right so like uh, this is also not wrong I believe like this is also a working uh, case but we, we are going to discuss something which I believe the interviewer might expect you to do in an actual interview or the way he would expect you to solve this particular problem. So like, uh, like the, all the problems of the linked list generally have two or three ideas there are no more than that ideas. So like in a problem like this for example there is a linked list like this. Before talking about in the linked list, I'll just give you a general intuition. For example, you and your friend are running in a race, right? So let's say it's some X distance. Your friend is running at 20 km per hour, right? And you are running at 10 km per hour. Let's say you started at the, uh, like at the same time at, and at the same place. And you now know that your friend has finished the race. If you know that your friend has finished the race, it is obvious that you would be exactly at the midpoint of the distance x right because he was running twice as fast as you so whenever whenever he finishes the race you know that you are exactly at half of the race right you have covered half of the distance the same thing applies to a linked list let's consider it like this if there are two people there are two pointers actually one is a slow pointer and one is a fast pointer at each like both of them start with the head and at each stage, we increment the slow pointer by 1 and we increment the fast pointer by 2. So, at, at this instance, when the fast pointer completes the linked list, I will tell you what do we mean by complete in a moment. So, just know that whenever the fast pointer completes the linked list, that means the slow pointer must be at the midpoint exactly. Right. So, we will have a look at different cases. So, first of all, this is a case when n is odd. Right. And then there will, be, there will be a case when n is even. So let us just draw some even number of squares. So these are 4. Let us draw 2 more. Right. So now let's say 
uh, let me denote that initially both of them are here. So this is fast, this is slow. Right. After one unit of time, my slow pointer will move one step forward and my fast pointer will go here. And after one more unit of time, my slow pointer will go one step forward and my fast pointer will go here. So you see, now my fast pointer cannot move any for forward. So this will be the last state. Right. This will be the last state that we witness. Now, uh, in case of an even number, let's say fast and slow were here. And after one unit of time, slow will be here and fast will be at this particular position. After one more unit of time, slow will be here and fast will be here. Right. After one more unit of time, because the fast pointer can still move forward, fast will be at null pointer. So this is null. There is nothing here and slow will be at this particular point. So like these are the two different cases that we observe in uh, like uh, you know when n is odd or when n is even n is the number of nodes in the linked list right so what do we do this with this with this particular information you see that uh, when the value of you see that the when value of n is odd you will exactly get the midpoint of the nodes with the slow pointer right whenever the value of n is even you will get this particular point right so this is all actually these two nodes will be the midpoint but with the slow pointer you will get the second one of them Right. Now, what do we do with this particular information? So, you know that this pointer is pretty useless, that this middle position is useless. We don't have to do anything with it. So, whenever we observe that n is odd, we can just increment the slow pointer and make it here. Or you don't know whether n is odd or even, but we know that whenever like this n will be odd, the first pointer will not be null pointer. It will be at the last node. Right. Whenever, whenever n is even, fast pointer will be a null pointer. So we can just check, we can just put, put a condition whenever the fast pointer is not null pointer, is not equal to null pointer, I will just increment my slow pointer. So this way, in both of the cases, my slow pointer will become here, right? What do we see? The slow pointer in both of the cases will be in the second half of the linked list, right? Or the first node of the second half of the linked list. This was the second half of the linked list. The first node is this, slow pointer is pointing the first node. The second half is this in this case. So the slow pointer is pointing the first node. Now. Till now, we have figured out how to find the first node in the second half of the linked list, no matter whether n is even or n is odd. Right. We have like uh, like uh, solved our problem till now. Now that we know what is the first point, uh, first node in the second half, what we can essentially do is we can reverse the second half of the linked list. Why are we actually going to reverse this linked list? Because the thing is, let's say you have some nodes like this. For this particular node, you want the information of this node. For this particular node, you want the information of this node. So, to go from this particular node to this particular node, you actually need some information, right? Either we can store in an array that this node, this node is the parent of this particular node, but we are not allowed to do so because the uh, like space complexity is O of 1. The expected space complexity is O of 1. So, we are not allowed to maintain any parent array or any such thing, right? So, from this particular node, you can directly jump to this particular node because there is a connection. But how do we actually go from this node to this node? For this, we will have to reverse the linked list. Right. So, reversing is the only option with the help of which you will have the information that you can go from this node to this particular node. Right. But we, will, we are going to reverse it in such a way such that we are also able to like go back to the original state. So, I am going to tell you how we actually reverse this particular link list. So, let us again draw the case where was where n was equal to 5. Right. So, this is the case. Our slow pointer was here. Right. So, what do we do now? We are going to reverse this second half of the linked list from here to here. Right. And reversing is very simple. You might already know how to reverse a linked list. But there are two important things that we need to take care of. Right. So, first of all, when we reverse the linked list, this node will get reversed. Right. But where do we go from this particular node? We just mark it to a null pointer. Right. You see that we are not touching this particular edge, right? We are not going to touch this particular edge. We are just going to mark the next of this particular node as null pointer, right? So this is what we do. So let us just extend it further so that it is easier for you to see. So there were five nodes initially. Let us make seven nodes, right? So if there are seven nodes like this, you will take this particular edge and reverse. It. You will take this particular edge and reverse it, right? So, like in this particular case, when there were seven nodes, this is actually going to be the middle point and this was the initial slow pointer node, right? 
So for this particular node, we will just mark it as null pointer. You will see in a while why this is important and, and why this is going to be very helpful. Right? This is what you do when n is odd. Similarly, like the the case for n is even is not very difficult. Actually, it is the same thing, but I just wanted to show you with the help of some visualization. So this is these are four nodes, and when then we have four more. So this is this is the first half. This is the second half. Our slow pointer will be initially at this particular point because this is the first node of the second half. Right. So what we are essentially going to do is we are going to change these edges and mark it as reverse, 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 and null pointer. So in both of the cases, what are we going to do? We are going to take the first node of the second half of the linked list and reverse my linked list starting from there. Right. Starting from the first node of the second half of the linked list. Right. So when we reverse this part, you will get something like this. Right. So in both of the cases, let me just show you how we will traverse through the linked list. So let's say this is the front, and you start with the back. Right. Now you do some operation with these two nodes. Now you move your front here, and you move your back here. Now again you do some operation with these two nodes. Now you move your front here, and you move your back here. Now you again do some operation with these two nodes. Now you move your front here, but your but your back will actually go to null pointer. Right. So this way you see that whenever your back is equal to null. that means you have to terminate your program and this is all the operations that you needed to do similarly in this particular case also your front is here your back is here you move your front you move your back perform of some operations move your front move your back again after some operations move your front move your back and whenever you try to move your front front will actually come here but you will see back will go to null pointer right whenever back is null point that means we have completed our task and we have to terminate our program So till now we have performed the operations, but now we will we will have to fix the reverse linked list. So we will reverse the linked list originally, but now we will have to fix it back, right? So how do we do this? Let's say this is the linked list. Let me just draw five of them. So while reversing the linked list, you did something like this: you reverse this particular point, and you marked it as null pointer, right? Now to reverse the linked list, you will have to reverse the linked list starting from here, right? Starting from here. So essentially, what you'll have to do when well, you were doing the first reversal, during the first reversal, you will have to like uh, note what was the last node in that particular linked list, right? You will have to take care of this thing. So whenever you know that this was the last node in the linked list, you can find it out using the first reversal. So when you were doing the first reversal, the last valid node can be the last node of the linked list. Now you already know what is the last node of the linked list. So you can start reversing from here. So when you start reversing from here, its next will be null pointer now, right? And this this edge is going to reverse. Now since this has its reverse, its this the next of this particular node will not be null pointer anymore. So this is all you had to do. Since we did not touch this particular point or we did not touch this particular edge, the rest of the linked list will remain in order. The only thing that we'll have to do is we'll have to take the last node of the linked list and start the reversal from there, right? This is the only thing that we'll have to do, and all the other things will fall into place. Same will be the case with this particular list as well. So let's say we reversed this particular node, and it will be like this, and then we reverse this particular node, and it will be like this, and when we reverse this particular node, you see the next of this particular node now has become this particular node, so it will not going it is not going to be null pointer, right? So we'll have to delete this edge. Now you see. The original list is restored. The only thing is that you will have to like uh, take note of what is the last node in the original linked list. So I believe like the idea of this problem is not very difficult. Actually, like there are only a couple of ways you can solve these linked list problems. There are very few general ideas, and if you are able to apply them, the only thing is the implementation is the key in linked list problems because sometimes you might get confused. What are the nodes that you are dealing with? So that is all about today's problem of the day. And I hope that this explanation is not very difficult. Let me just show you the uh, implementation how I implemented it. So I have created a slow and a fast pointer. So both of them are initialized with head, right? Whenever like why fast is not equal to null pointer and fast is not fast next is not equal to null pointer, right? Both of them are not null pointers. I'll just move my fast pointer to fast to next dot next, and my slow pointer will be incremented by single time, right? Now is fast is not equal to null pointer. This is the case when my value of n is odd. n is the number of nodes right when this value is odd that means i have to increment my slow pointer as already discussed now i have to include a special case for n is equals to 1 the value of n is odd right 
and if I increment my slow pointer, the slow pointer will actually go to the null pointer, right? Because there was only one node. In this case, I can just directly return the head, right? This is a special case that I have to deal with. Now, I initialize my last with slow. So this last node is actually going to store what was the last node in the entire link list, right? As I have already told you, this information will be very important to me, right? So my slow node is the first pointer in the uh, link list, right? In the second half of the link list. So I call my reverse function passing on with a slow, slow pointer and a null pointer. So slow will be the current node I, and I want its next to be null pointer. So this is what I am passing. So while this is my reverse function, I have created a function because I will need it second time also. So that is why I created a function all, only once. So what I do is I just pass, I, while my current pointer is not equal to null, I increment my last. I update my last current pointer. Why? Because I am traversing the linked list in a forward order. So I can always update my last with the latest valid pointer and at the end I will have the last node of the linked list in my last variable. Right. Now I calculate the next of the current node and I store it in a temporary variable called next. I update the next of the current node as previous and my and I set my previous off and I update my previous as current node and I can just mark my current as next. Right. So current will move one space to the forward and previous will get updated with the current node. Right. So, so this is what I am doing here. Now uh, you know this reverse function. Now what I do is now I know what is the front of the linked list. It is going to be the head. I know what is the back of the linked list. It is going to be last. So while back is not equal to null pointer, I store the data of the front element in a temporary variable. I am I just uh, do some manipulation. So this is not very difficult. You might already know what is going on here. I update the front data as back data minus front data, and I update the back data as name, right? Because I stored it already here. Right. After it, I update both my front and back variables by doing one step next and I can just reverse since now I need to reverse from the last pointer. So I just reverse from the last pointer passing the null pointer. Right. So this is all you have to do. After it, you can just return the head of the linked list. So this is going to be the solution of today's problem of the day. Modify linked list one. I hope that you guys were able to understand the solution. If you guys did, then consider dropping a like on this video and uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I see a lot of people who watch these videos have not subscribed yet. So if you are one of them, consider subscribing. It's always free of course and you can always subscribe later if you don't find the videos interesting. So till the next video drops, keep coding, stay safe, bye bye.